One of the important questions for understanding the early evolution of the hominins is what environment they evolved in. One of the interesting things about the fossils we've already talked about, Sahelanthropus, Auroran, and Artipithecus, is that for the most part, they've all been reconstructed as occupying closed forest environments. These reconstructions are done on the basis of the other fossils they're found in the presence with, for example, what kind of environments do we tend to see these animals living in today, and also by stable isotopic analysis of the dentition, and what kind of environment it suggests they were feeding in. And recall that our expectation for the origins of bipedality is that many of the models suggest that we would have evolved in a more open environment, or at least an environment in which there were beginning to be more open spaces. The fact that they are occupying closed forest environments suggests maybe that we need to rethink the origins of bipedality. Clearly these earliest hominins were utilizing forests, or at least arboreal resources, more than we had previously anticipated. Now it might have been because they occupied arboreal environments in feeding contexts. It might have been because they were still simply living in these environments for other kind of locomotor reasons. But it may be that like living primates, such as the chimpanzees, they occupied arboreal resources for retreats, for safety and protection. Chimpanzees today still nest in trees. Recall that the earliest hominins are not large organisms, they're quite small which means that they would have been small organisms living in an environment with an abundance of predators, including large predatory cats. Being able to have the morphology that allows for access to arboreal resources, even if in only limited context, such as for sleep, may have been strongly advantageous.